The need for federal governments to impose 20% tax on sugar-sweetened beverages has been stressed as Nigerians are facing a significant health threat due to non-communicable diseases such as diabetes. Experts at the end of a one-day regional stakeholders forum on sugar-sweetened beverages organized by the Corporate Accountability and Public Participation Africa CAP, CAPA says solution may be to implement a effect, an effective sugar tax on sugar-sweetened beverages, as many countries, including Nigeria, have already imposed SSB taxes as part of efforts to reduce the consumption of sugary drinks and promote healthy eating. The report. According to WHO, a major action aimed at reducing the consumption of sugars is the taxation of sugary drinks. Just as taxing tobacco helped to reduce tobacco use, taxing sugary drinks can help reduce consumption of sugars. In his keynote address, a public health consultant at University College Hospital Ibadan, Nigeria, Dr. Francis Fagbule, said the average monthly cost of drugs for diabetic patients in the country can be crippling for those who live below the poverty line. These sugar sweetened beverages are just high in calorie. They don't offer any significant um, nutrition, so they have no nutritive value. Rather, they can constitute a lot of health problems. Research has shown that number one is linked with obesity, diabetes mellitus, hypertension, cardiovascular diseases, even some form of cancer. Of course, as dentists, even parents want their children, sugar causes dental caries, that is all in your tooth. So there's a lot of health implications associated with it, more of the non-communicable diseases. For example, we have a taxation on tobacco, we have on alcohol, then why don't we have something effective on sugar certain beverages? That is a way to go. Executive Director, Corporate Accountability and Public Participation Africa, Kappa, Olua Femi Akimbade, said this is the time for government at all levels to take innovative ways of funding the health sector through tax and from sugar-sweetened beverages. Government should begin to look at earmarking those taxes. So you just don't collect taxes on SSDs and then you put it, PM into the revenue, uh, what do they call it, federal revenue account, tax account, and it continue to suffer. Also part of that global practice is to look at how that money is either a fraction of it or the entire tax is again plowed back to health. I think the message also now, now leave the health to the education sector, where there will be a policy, effective policy, then with monitor, monitoring where Parents are going to be advised not to be giving their children this kind of drink because over time, that's when the issue begins. Check the next 15 years what you know impact will be on the lives of the children, teenagers, young adults, and all of that. Legislation is a key, and awareness. We need to create awareness, especially younger ones. It's just like we said, there should be labeling. Not like alcohol, we tell you this is 10%, this is 7%, this is 15%, this is 40%. We should be labeling of these products so that people will know. Placing heavy tax is better than placing a small tax, which they say they can absorb, so that they can fill it. The stakeholders call on federal government to encourage the Ministry of Agriculture to support farmers and the fresh fruits industry to grow more fruits and produce healthy drinks as replacements for unhealthy drinks. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.